plaintiff, Donald Berman, says he voluntarily attended an anger management class, and that's where he befriended the defendant. Donald says they became such good friends that he named the defendant as the beneficiary of his life insurance policy. But he's suing him today for breach of contract and an unreturned chair. Defendant Dean Osborne admits he was court ordered to go to anger management classes, but he suspects Donald was getting help because both of his sons have restraining orders against him. Dean claims after they became friends, he learned of Donald's medical marijuana grow operation, and he insists he tried to repay Donald, but he wouldn't take it. Start with you. Thank you. Over five years ago, I volunteered to go to a, an anger management course with a friend of mine to work on my issues. There I met Dean. Uh, he was there under court order for domestic violence. We became friends. The class kept getting fuller and fuller. I had to stop going because I was a volunteer, not under court order. I lost track of Dean for a period of time, found out that he'd been arrested for domestic violence with his girlfriend. She had a drinking problem. Shortly after that, Dean married his girlfriend, now his wife, Trudy, who I grew close to also. Felt like they were family to me, to the point to where I even had Dean as beneficiary on a life insurance policy. You don't have children or I have wife? two sons, yes. So instead of giving to your sons, you yes. gave it to him? Yes. Wow. I'm just curious, why? I felt very close to him. Felt to him Closer than you do to, to your son? I felt family. Yeah, More so son. than your sons? Pardon me? More so than to your sons? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. We're pretty close. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not putting your name on my insurance. You're right. Okay. Now that my sons are grown and have been to college and live in different cities, I'll probably see you more than I see <laughs> them. But I'm not putting your name on anything belonging to mine. I lost track of Dean for a period of time. Found out that he'd been arrested for domestic violence with his girlfriend. She had a drinking problem. Shortly after that, Dean married his girlfriend, now his wife, Trudy, who I grew close to also. Felt like they were family to me. To the point to where I even had Dean as beneficiary on a life insurance policy. Defendant Dean Osborne met the plaintiff in an anger management class, and he suspects the plaintiff was there because both of his sons have restraining orders against him. Go ahead. So you all were very close in that sense. When did you end your friendship and how? Uh, our friendship ended, I believe, well, the only thing to do is back up a little bit and mm -hmm. share with you that Okay. Uh, drinking then became a problem again with Trudy to the point to where she had a blackout, wrecked her car many miles from nowhere and didn't have a clue where it was. And when then, was this? Uh, this was probably about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Then uh, she entered into a in-house rehab. Okay. Dean and I were still close. Then uh, I believe today what has transpired and what has happened between us has been motivated by Trudy for the time that Dean and I have got to spend together. How so? Oh, there was a time that uh, we were traveling together. Dean was with me, and Trudy and Dean started texting back and forth. Next thing I know, Dean turned around and threw his phone on the dashboard because he was upset with Trudy because I was with Dean. Okay, so he puts you ahead of his wife, and you put him ahead of your kids. I don't What's believe going it's quite on that here? far because his wife is very important to him. And I believe well, what... I from what you described, he's putting you ahead of his wife. He threw the phone. He's with you. His wife gets mad because he's with you. And his reaction is to get mad at her and throw the phone. Yes. She has no right <laughs> <laughs> to be asking about me and you. <laughs> Your sons come and say, Dad... Insurance, how much you got coming for us? <laughs> it's going to Dean. <laughs> Every dime of it. Dad, why would you do that? Dean is not your blood. We're your blood. We're your sons. I like him, and that's who it's going to. I'm a nice guy. Nice guy. All right, and so are you. Let me hear some background. When, when did the friendship end? Uh, the friendship ended between May and June of 14. All right. When he threw that phone? Uh, no, it wasn't the phone. No, the last time we got together, he threw a 
leather jacket at me. After, Why? After you charged into my house. Pardon me? After you charged into my house. Mm, that was after because you threw it onto me on the porch. That wasn't the time I called the cops or was that the time after? Yeah. No, you didn't, no I, was I, didn't you after, I didn't see you after I called the cops and you didn't come over anymore. Well, because the cops told me not to. And, yeah. You know, you kind of, you know, the guy's got a badge and a gun. You want to listen to him. I should have called him long ago. <laughs> Missed your opportunity. I did. The devil is going on here. I have no idea. <laughs> Hold on. What's, what's all this bickering and fighting about? <laughs> I'm like, what's this about? Why, you how know. do you all get into these violent situations? I know you got anger issues that you thank you all for going to have them treated. Um, you're a good example. Well, I don't know, because I don't know if it's working. You all might yeah. not be. <laughs> So I'll take it that back me. about it being a good example, uh, unless it works mm -hmm. and it doesn't sound like it has. Why, why, why have you all been getting into these confrontations? This all erupted just a few months ago. Prior to that, we about didn't have what? Any about the money he's suing for? Well, I believe they were motivated by his wife because of the time that we got to So when together. you all start fighting, it's him saying something, my wife told me so and so, and you say, how dare you? You better not. Uh, how? Huh? She would uh, turn around and call Dean, and then Dean would turn around and call me. You know, my answer back on that was, is she's got a problem with me, she needs to call and talk to me. This is the weirdest thing I ever heard. This, <laughs> you want to give me some background, sir? Yes, but sir. on the other hand, yes, it's sir. not that weird. Yes, Go sir. ahead, sir, depending on how you look at it. What okay. do you tell me? Give me we, some background on we that. Did, uh, we did meet in, in anger management. Uh -huh. I had had an argument with my wife. They ever heard yelling, called the police. That's why I was there. Uh, he was... Uh, um, enrolled himself in anger management. From my understanding, his sons, the reason, I guess one of the reasons why I was a beneficiary of this insurance that I didn't even know until everything went south. Um, from my understanding, his sons both had restraining orders on him. And he that's was not trying... That's true. Uh, you calling the police my, on him, too? From my understanding. That's your what understanding, I understand. Well, your understanding is false. I didn't Sir, say let him was finish. Fact, was at least he has a reason. At least he's making some type of sense okay. of why you would leave money to him over your own sons. So well, you... Words that I heard him say is he was, he was not allowed to see his grandchild. He, wanted, he thought that by enrolling in anger management would help get back in good graces. I really don't know a whole lot about okay. that aspect of it. Do our whole... All right. Time learning that I didn't know. So anyway, but he did tell you that. <clears throat> I mm -hmm. recall him saying that to me. Yes. yes. So within a few months of us meeting, um, I started. He needed some computer help. I have a computer background. I helped him with that. Within a short period of time after that, he, I was introduced to his medical marijuana growing operation. And he may not look like it, sir, but he's very much of a Walter White in the marijuana world to my Jesse Pinkman. From my understanding, his sons, the reason, I guess one of the reasons why I was a beneficiary of his insurance that I didn't even know until everything went south. Um, from my understanding, his sons both had restraining orders on him. And he that's was trying... That's not true. Right, you calling the police my, on him, too. From my understanding. That's your what understanding, I understand. Well, your understanding is false. Defendant Dean Osborne met the plaintiff in an anger management class. And he suspects the plaintiff was there because both of his sons have restraining orders against him. Go ahead. Through the course of our relationship, um, I saw him get extremely angry, violent, to the point where he took a swing at another associate. That's why he needed that weed. Yeah. So that's <laughs> what that does. That calms it down. Maybe he should have had more. But he took a swing at an associate, slipped and fell, broke his arm. My wife and I, um, only ones that he had that would see him in, in the hospital, he wouldn't tell us the real reason for a while. Okay, we have... Um, so I saw that. I saw every... Endeavor that every operation that he was a part of go south. All right, but did you get violent as well with him? No, I didn't until the end. Yeah, well, until means yes. Okay, my violence. You all need some medicine. That counseling wasn't working for you. Included volume and calling the police. That was it. There was never any physical violence between the two of us. Why did you have to call the police on? I at that time I was working out a week uh, out mm -hmm. of town all week. I was only home on the weekends. Mm -hmm. My wife was jealous of my time, understandably so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he had gone through two different homes, being kicked out of, down to the point where he's now renting a room from a mutual friend of his. And all the stuff that he had was in storage. He bought a shed to put in my backyard to store his stuff. Um, he was at sea. He was a merchant marine for three months at a time, came back into town. I was out of town, swept in and took everything out of our house, leaving it a wreck. My wife is in the final stages of her nursing school. She was Who already... Who swept up, in and took everything? Don did. 
Well, you got to remember the Who's things. Whose property? That... His own property. His own property. Yeah. Out of the shed. And and my house, because like a couch and a TV and some of those. He things. had we property were in your house. Refrigerator. So yes. he had property in the shed and in your house. Yes. So he got his property out of both places. He did. All right. Okay. And why'd you all have to argue or fight about it? Well, leaving our house in a shambles, I didn't because I was out of town. Okay. I didn't have. He any... didn't tell you he was coming by. No, I knew he was to coming by, things. but I didn't understand the manner was going to happen. I didn't have a chance to get the things out. He of didn't our move him like you wanted him to move. Well, him. I want to be able to. If he takes a couch, I want to have our couch to be put back. But he the told you they were moving it. So, be... all right, sir, all right, go so... ahead. So you <laughs> all get into the police play because of the manner in which you moved the property that he knew you were moving. If All right, you didn't put more... the couch back one foot over to the left. <laughs> there's a little bit more. So to you all, what else, yeah. sir, other than he moved the yeah, couch so I, improperly? Merchant Marine, he came back with some items that we were going to pay him for. We had an agreement to meet at a time, and he didn't show up. Uh, <laughs> I assumed items were a gift at that point. That's All right, when... you're talking about what he's suing you for. One him, of the items, obviously. Yes. So let's let him tell me about the lawsuit. Go ahead, sir. Okay, one item is uh, tickets for the drag race. The drag race was the last, final one of the year. I told Dean that I couldn't afford to pay for him to go, that he'd have to buy him. I told him I'd put it on a card, and I did. As of today's date, he hasn't paid me a thing. That was for both tickets you're suing him no, for? No, there was a number of tickets. How many for the drag race? I believe there was five tickets. Okay, five tickets he purchased on your card? No, sir. sir. That I purchased for him on my card. Right. All right. And when was he that to was repay you for the five dollars. tickets, sir? Pardon me? When was he to repay you? As soon as he could. Okay. How much? 283. Okay. And he hasn't paid anything? No, he hasn't. Were any of them for you? I bought my own because I went on a three. Separate path. from that? Yes. All right. And when was that? Uh, that was back in... On 9-5 or 13. All right. September of 13? Yes, sir. All right. What else are you suing about? Uh, then during that time, there was a storage shed that we approached each mm -hmm. other with, with the idea of going halves on it. For him to we store did. his stuff on mm -hmm. my property. Yeah, what was to be, st what was stored there? Uh, his furniture and my furniture in okay. his backyard. All right, he did have things in there? Yes, he did. Uh, why are you suing him about it? Uh, because he never paid his half for it. All right, and how much is that? And then also to... How much is that? Oh, half of it, it was 630 mm -hmm. 83 mm -hmm. When was it supposed to have been paid? As soon as you had money, sir. All right. I don't know when even there the... There was no uh, time frame put on it. All right, but I don't know when it started, sir. Oh, it started in 10-18 uh, of 13. October of 13? Yes. All right. And what else are you suing him for? Uh, then, as he mentioned, I was a merchant marine. I went to China. And while I was in China, they, he asked me to buy some shoes for a friend of his. And also his wife, Trudy, asked me to buy handbags for them. The total price that I paid was $700. All right. And when was he to repay you as soon as possible? Yes. And when was it you return, You brought it back? I brought it back in March of 14. Now, why would you keep doing these things that were to be paid as soon as possible and he had never paid you anything at any point? The yes. first time, I understand. Second time, perhaps. Third time, don't understand. The third time, the third time that you're referring to was supposed mm -hmm. to be paid I understand. All of them were supposed to be when, paid. When, when, I got, when, I, when I got back. All of them were supposed to be paid. It was a, the other was supposed to be paid way before you got back. As close as I was to Dean, I, I knew the money was tight with him, so I wasn't pressing the issue. All right, so what changed for you all to come in here and bring me this mess? What changed? Everything fell apart. How? Why? I'm asking you. <laughs> Everything fell apart over a conversation over a text message. <laughs> Involving what? Me wanting to pick up my furniture and my things out of a shed. Defendant Dean Osborne met the plaintiff in an anger management class. And he suspects the plaintiff was there because both of his sons have restraining orders against him. Why did you all fall out and you want to come and pick your things up over his wife? Is that what this was about again? And then... This is then, the then during, thing then I've during ever that heard. time, I finally got him to talk to Sir, me. Sir, what do you say to this? Drag race tickets, uh, the shed payment, and the March uh, handbags from China. Well, the March handbags from China, we did have money for him. I tried on several occasions to to pay him. I have here a copy of my bank statement showing the dates that I deposited the money to. And what him. happened when you tried to pay him? He canceled the meeting. 
And, and he and very what? shortly after that is when everything went south between us. Sir, did he, he said he was out riding you? his motorcycle and didn't want to meet Hold me. Hold on, did he try to pay you? Not to my knowledge. Because he wouldn't meet me for the meeting. How did you try, sir? How did you communicate? We set up. We set up a, a. We were supposed to meet him at his house. I helped him get a house that's very close to mine. I was supposed You've to never heard there. this before, sir. We were supposed to meet. Regarding what, sir? He called me and wanted to set up a meeting. About what? Supposing to settle some issues. There was nothing talked about money as far as settling it. That's an issue. Talk about what issues? The issues that we were having over What's his wife. What's that? Over his wife. All right. And you had money due, and all he wanted to meet and talk about is this. Sir, you haven't proven your case today. You're very vague, and the things you're saying, you're talking around some issue. I don't know what it is. I know it certainly involves his wife. So, I'm, uh... You haven't, you haven't proven your case today. You gentlemen have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. I'm gonna get on with my life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's nothing else that's gonna happen. Go back home, continue my life.